Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, let's look into the Star Pro Connect Edition, which is the latest version of Star Pro software. As we all know that Star Pro is the Bentley software which is used to analyze and design the structures. So in this video, let's look into the interface of Star Pro Connect Edition and let's see what are all the changes in the interface of this Connect Edition when compared to Star Pro Select Series 6. So without delay, let's begin now. When you open the Start Pro Connect Edition, the window looks like this. So you will be having the options Open, New, Archive, Share and Help. So under New, you will be having Model Info, Model Information. Under Model Information, you have the file name. You can give your file name and location. You can uh, select the location wherever you want to save the file. And then under Type, you can choose Analytical and units as metric and after that we have job info here you can enter the job name client name revision number reference project id project name everything you can enter here then just click on this create new model you will be redirected to this window this is the working area of the start pro connect edition we will be having the same options just like start pro vi types but the only difference is we will be having the individual toolbars in Start Pro V8i. Here, the toolbars are grouped and then it will come under ribbon, one ribbon. For example, if you select a geometry, under geometry, you will be having all the tools. If you select view, you will be having all the tools which is related to view option. And if you click on this select option, you will be getting all the selecting tools. So in this way, it is grouped and arranged under one ribbon in Start Pro Connect Edition. Just let's look into this geometry, what and all the toolbars we have. We have the grid option. If you click on this beam grid, you will be getting this option, grid option. You can model the structure by using this grid option. If you don't want this, just you can close like this. And then you will be having triangular plate grid, quad plate grid and after that structure wizard option you click on this you will be redirected to this wizard window and here you can select the model type as frame model and under this you can select the model with whichever you want bay frame or grid frame or floor grid or continuous beam whichever you want you can select and we have translational repeat circular repeat rotate option input unit slab or wall connection and this one is mirror option and here you have move option, moving node, renumber node and here we have add, add beams. Under that you will be having midpoint, perpendicular intersection, curved beam. So all the tools we have just like Start Pro VI type but it all comes under one ribbon. Beam layout, plate layout, solid layout and if you click on this view option you have zoom in, zoom out, isometric view, top view, front view, everything you have here. And this is a rotate option, rotate up, rotate down, spin left, spin right. And here you have display option. And here tile, horizontal tile, vertical option is there. And 3D rendering option is there under view ribbon. Next one is select. So here node cursor, beam cursor, plate cursor. Next one is specification. Under specification, we have plate thickness, prismatic, tapered, constants, node, beam, plate, and these are all the support conditions, fixed support, pinned support, custom support, foundation, one-way spring and other supports. Like other supports, we have inclined, multilinear spring, custom enforced and enforced. And after that, we have loading option. So under that, primary load case, load combination, reference load case, everything is given. And wind load, snow load, seismic load. So under seismic load, we have the codes. IS 1893-2016 is the updated uh, version of the code. This is the seismic code, latest seismic code. And under analysis and design, we have pre-analysis command, post-analysis command and miscellaneous command, load list, run analysis, steel, concrete and aluminium and timber we have. Under utilities, we have the structural tool, node tool, beam tool, plate tool, solid tool. So if you click on this icon, you will be getting other options, cut section, merge properties, multiple structures. So in StatPro VI we have the duplicate node, alpha node, warp plate, zero length member, overlapping collinear member. These all options are under tools. 
but in uh, connected addition it's all under comes and un- comes under the respective tool like multiple structure if it is a node related to node that and all comes under node tool if it is related to beam that comes under beam tool if it is related to plate that comes under plate tools so in this way all the toolbars are grouped under one ribbon in stat flow connect addition and here we have the workflow analytical modeling physical modeling building planner physical modeling can be used for finite element method so in this physical modeling if we give the outer area of the plate element the program itself create meshing plate meshing so that will avoid that will rectify many errors because always meshing the plate is a difficult task because the plate has to be properly meshed and it has to be connected with beams and walls if it is a wall we are meshing then the proper connection should be there by using this physical modeling that kind of meshing errors can be avoided and building pl- planner is used for building structure like regular building or irregular building structure we can use and apart from this we have piping bridge deck post processing foundation design steel outro adapter by using this we can uh, do the detailing and connection design concrete design advanced to concrete design advanced to slab design so these are all the new additional features we have in stat pro connect edition and here it is aligned like geometry properties material specification support loading analysis and design so this is the actual process we need to first make the geometry and then we need to assign the properties member properties and then material specifications support loading analysis and design so this is the actual process of the structural design in that way it is arranged here and then now let's look into the now let's look into the stat editor mode so when you go here you will be having the customized quick access toolbars so under this save open close undo redo command file analysis file and more commands are there so command file is the editor mode this is the command file so if you click on that your editor mode will open stat pro connect editor mode in stat pro connect editor we have the content tree and then bookmarks we can make a bookmark and we can use it wherever we want and also we have the find option find and replace option this helps us to reduce the search time and we don't need to scroll down all the way to search some command so here we can just type it and then we can search and even we have the check syntax option if any syntax is wrong we can check by using this option so friends that's all about the interface of the stat pro connect edition if you want to model the structure by using this stat pro connect edition please let me know in the comment box i'll make one video for that and i hope this video is useful for you if you like the content please do comment in the comment box and share it with your friends also don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching